in the recent form they're in. It'll be Fontas, Rosero that lock things down. Century on that back line. Going forward, we're going to see the right back of Colin Smith making his debut. That means Ibiaga. Here in the first half of the season, a 2-1 FC Dallas win on March 18th at Toyota Stadium in Frisco. Now we kick off tonight's game at Children's Mercy Park. It's carried forward by Andreo Fontas. Kenda. Then in Denbe, nice ball by Shallowy. Polito takes a shot first time, and it's a tip save over the bar by Jimmy Maurer. Early on, Colin Smith, Ibiaga, just getting a pulled apart defensively. Another good little interchange. Polito looking to get on the end of this, just opens up his hips, looking for that far post, and Maurer does well to tip it over. At Vancouver, on turf, on Saturday. A chance for FC Dallas. Ferreira to Obreon, touched by Jimenez, coming out off his line. McIntosh made himself big enough. Jimenez keeps the ball in play. The scoring chance continues for FC Dallas. Put behind for a corner. Well, we spoke about the interchanges between Jimenez, Jesus Ferreira, but the four up top for. And Obreon continues to drive toward the Sporting Kansas City back line. Cutting in, squares it for Velasco. Velasco, one of the top ten in MLS and taking on players this year, and he takes him on and takes a shot, and the rebound is poked in by Ferreira, but the flag has come up. Well, it all starts with Obreon, just the patience. He doesn't see a clear look, so he works it to the far side. And then Nolan Norris is a center back by trade, but with North Texas SC, their MLS Next Pro affiliate, he has been playing some this year at center back. That's a diagonal run, and Velasco reaches the ball, and a shot by Jimenez is off the post. First Dallas's chance. Well, we've seen a few of these that resulted in some offside. This time it's Velasco coming from the weak side, keeps himself on, and that's a great ball across because it's difficult to take it first time. Been important pieces. Johnny's holds it in. Cutback ball here by Jake Davis on the beat of Radoya, and Radoya just misses the near post in these opportunities would look to curl this far post and said Polito just sees if those positions are constantly rotating the personnel that you're playing with are constantly rotating it's can be difficult here's Shallowy Shallowy at the end line and at the back post it's slammed in goal for Sporting Kansas City it's Gunny Kenda And this time, it turns into one smashed into the back of the net. Yeah, and it starts on this near side, and it's two players for Sporting Kansas City that draw three defenders for FC Dallas. They're not on the same page. It allows for this ball to come across, and then Kenda, delayed run to that far post. Look at this ball from Shallowy, trying to pick out Polito. Bypasses him, Kenda. 13 goals, 13 assists for Gotti Kenda in his time with Sporting KC. Now, shortly after the goal, a threat here by FC Dallas. It's carried forward by Ferreira, trying to head on the rebound off the initial save by McIntosh. It's out for an FC Dallas throw in. And Kendall McIntosh's parents here watching and applauding as he comes up big right now. And that's a huge save from McIntosh. Now Polito. Into the path of Shallowy, another one of those dangerous balls across the face of goal. Follow-up attempt is tipped by Maurer off the bar. Halftime just down one because another great ball from Shallowy almost finds Kinda again. The connection between them two and then this is center back. Well, there are goalkeepers in the net right now. Jimmy Maurer for FC Dallas. Kendall McIntosh, who made a couple of splendid saves in the first half. Well done by Velasco to elude a tackle by Eric Tommy. And it's FC Dallas will have the first attack of the second half about 40 seconds in. Is standing over this free kick from 20 yards out. Maurer shading at the far post. And his shading to the far post with outstanding positioning because that bullet free kick by Eric Tommy. Strong hands, he drives it over. Well, he does get up and over, and you see the pace on it, but it is right to Maurer. That's a save that he should be making. Does see it, but he's not going to be able to keep, keep a hold of it. And a change between Eric Tommy and Marinos Jonis. Gotti Kenda, he scored the goal in the 41st minute of a game that started 54 minutes due to lightning in the area. Here's Daniel Shallowy bringing it into the box, and he shoots for the far post, and Shallowy has done it to FC Dallas for the eighth time. City at the hour mark. 
for Jesus to be able to get the pressure out there. You see how narrow that back line is for FC Dallas. Slow to get out. Shallowy just gets his head up. It looks like he's going to play this ball across to Tommy. Instead, almost a no-look shot at the last moment. Just closes his hips, finds that far post, tucks it in, 2-0. Great finish from Shallowy. Dropping deep is Veleda. He was able to ward off a challenge by Eric Tommy into the feet. Turning Milanto looking for his first goal in Major League Soccer, and he doesn't miss it by much. You would think that Sporting Kansas City would be okay with Ferreira dropping so deep, but picks the pocket, keeps this one alive. And then Mulatto, which is a quick turn against the two substitutes for Sporting Kansas City on that defensive line, almost sneaks that one in. As we've reached the end of normal time. Ball by Facundo Quinone, trying to drop it in the path of Ferreira. The aforementioned McIntosh off his line, but he's caught out, and Ferreira floats something in to score for FC Dallas at the beginning of stoppage time. There will be no clean sheets, and the best team in Major League Soccer this year in terms of digging out of the hole. But Jesus Ferreira is consistently looking for those moments in behind. Quinone at the heart of it. No pressure on the, the service. Finds Ferreira, and then McIntosh unnecessarily coming off his line, trying to make the play, doesn't. It's a good touch from Ferreira, just to set himself up, and he's not gonna miss. It's even a tight angle, but the second touch finds the back of the net, cuts this lead in half. The header by Kyrie Shelton. Voltaire picks it up on the move. And the final whistle blows Sporting Kansas City. Four wins in their last six games.